Hey there and welcome. Thank you for coming. If this is your first time, I hope you enjoy this. My name is Tammy and I'm with Country Girls Tumblers. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and consider subscribing for future videos. Hey everyone, so this is the cup that we're going to be working on. It's a mental health cup uh, with UV mica. So first thing we need to do is we need to sand that tumbler down really well. Uh, you can tell as you're sanding the cup down that it starts to get dull. And once you get that dullness all the way around the cup, then we need to go in with 91% rubbing alcohol. And then we are going to wipe all of the dust and debris from the uh, from the sanding process off of this cup. Now this is a hog 20 ounce tumbler that we're going to be working on. And we're going to do several different techniques throughout this cup. Um, so bear with me. <clears throat> so you can see all the debris and dust particles that we got off of this cup from sanding it. And that'll help everything adhere to this cup. So this is a sweet pea satin two-time rust-oleum paint. We just want to get a real good coat of this paint on. You may have to go over it twice as I did. The first time it it seemed like I could still see through some of the paint so I ultimately went over this cup twice. You want to do real short bursts of your paint and that way it'll prevent any kind of running of that paint. I'm sorry I'm out of frame here. <clears throat> so the next step is we're going to go in with the hog speed fast set epoxy. This is my next favorite epoxy there is. Um, and you can get it from the stainless steel depot. And this is Biddy George. It came from Little Lee and Rose. So once we got our tumbler coated, we're going to mix up. This is a one-to-one -one ratio. And I mixed up 20 milliliters of this epoxy and stirred it for about three minutes that, uh, until it came out clear. And we're just putting a little bit of that Biddy George uh, Ultra Fine Glitter from Little Lee and Rose in. And this is a UV mica powder that I found from Michaels. I'm going to link all these items that I used down in the description below. Uh, but what this does is... Uh, it, it's white right now and you'll be able to see that pink in the background but as the UV light hits it it changes to a, a dark wine color and it's really pretty so you can see we have that um, pink and I'm actually I've got a UV light in the background um, I'm sorry you can't see it, but you can see how that changed color. And that'll actually happen on the cup. So you want to stir this in really well. And we'll get our tumbler going. I always like my cups to turn to the right as I'm putting on my epoxy. And then I ultimately switch it to where it turns to the left after I get 
all my epoxy on and torch it. So this is 20 milliliters of the hog speed quick set epoxy. And at about 75 degrees, this is tack free in about two hours. So I'm, I'm able to really do a lot with this epoxy. Using this every couple of hours, I can actually do something else to the cup to speed up the process and it worked really well so now that we got our epoxy on and we have pulled everything from the bottom to the top we want to torch this and that will help get any of those micro bubbles that is in the epoxy and it'll help smooth over that epoxy now this is a little more difficult so we are going into our Cricut program and I've got a couple of designs that's already pulled up or that I've already uploaded so we're going to go to our uploaded images and we're going to grab this ribbon and we're going to scroll down and I purchased a semicolon wing off of Etsy and I'll link that down in the description if you like this so we're going to add this to our canvas and we're going to have to resize them because they come in very large so once re I'm clicking and up at the top you can put in your dimensions and I know my rough dimensions that I want our ribbon is going to be about an inch tall so I'm going to adjust that to where it's an inch tall and then we're going to adjust this semicolon wing I think it's about three inches and I want a, about seven of these ribbons we're gonna kind of period periodically place them over the cup so up at the toolbar uh, just above you will see on the right there where all that green is there is a button to duplicate so I just duplicated all those arrows and here I am taking all the each one of these each piece of this wing is going to cut separate so I had to go in and I had to weld all those together so that you can move it as one piece and we're going to delete the background and why I did this I don't know because I could have done what I needed to do with what was already there so now we're going to go in and we're going to do an offset. We're going to do an offset out and in. So we'll actually, actually be doing some slicing. And what I'm doing here is I'm using that offset button to get the size that I want. Once I get that size we're gonna go in and apply that I think it was a 0.25 offset we went in and uh, after we get the offset I changed the color so it'd be easier to see the offset versus the actual design that we're using 
and we're going to center these two the offset and the the design itself i want to center these two And here you can see we're adding text so uh, you can find the text button on the left hand side about midways of the page and all you have to do is press the text button once and it'll pop up somewhere on your screen that's why I had two text because I didn't see where it came in so we are going to go in and I forgot what text font this is, but I do have it. Uh, I do have the the text listed in the description below. I think this was like Ola. Believe so. What what I'm typing here is the strong will prevail, and we're actually going to do an offset with offset with this as well. And first of all, we need to make sure that we get the size that we are wanting. Um, so I put this on the back side of my cup so I used about six inches tall and approximately two and a half to three inches wide I believe and this is the first time I've recorded anything like this with with using my actual program and trying to adjust and and film it so this was this was a little bit of a challenge for me but I wanted you to see kind of what I did so here think we're playing with the okay so what I'm doing here is I'm adjusting the line spacing I want the line I want this to come together a little closer because whenever we do our outline I actually or the offset I actually want all this to come together and it cut out as one so I'm adjusting my line spacing closer and then we are going with our offset a little larger so that all of it will attach and then we're going to go in and we're going to change that color again so that we can see what we're working with a little easier and the reason why I changed this to pink is because the the background of the cup is pink and we're going to use the green text and the semicolon wings and the arrows is all going to be green. Uh, green is just a representation color of mental health. That's the reason why we want this color. So once we get all this adjusted the way that we want to. We are going to start the cut process. what I did here is I'm grouping everything together so that well I'm centering 
making sure everything is lined up, then I'm going to group everything so that it's easier to move around um, until I'm ready to actually cut this. So now that we're going to go to cut, I used um, my vinyl and I used um, premium vinyl setting with default pressure and it cut out really well. Um, so here we are, we're weeding our design out. Now we will be doing a peekaboo with this cup. So that's why I'm not really worried about um, the shape too much. And these are some tweezers I got from Little Lee and Rose. I do not have them listed in the description because I figure that um, we all have tweezers around the house and, and some of our favorites. Uh, they even come with uh, the Cricut set. I just like these a little better because whenever I pinch them, you know, they close. Uh, with the tweezers from Cricut, I don't like them as well because whenever you pinch them, they open up, I believe. It's just opposite of what you're used to, so I, I, I don't like them. To me, it makes things a little harder. And these have a super fine tip on them. So we're just going to weed out each one of our um, items that we want cut or put on our cup at this time. And here we are, we're just pulling that the backing off. And because it's such a large item and it's one piece, I'm not worrying about any transfer tape. I'm just going to lay this down with my hand and we get, we get it on really well. Uh, if you get a bubble on the inside that doesn't really make much of a difference, um, you can just pop that little bubble if you want to. But we will be removing this uh, and leaving this design in the background. So this is where our pick starts to to take place and on the opposite side of that semicolon we're going to put our peekaboo for our word phrase now on this I don't remember I think I used the transfer tape because it's a lot bigger area um, so all I'm doing here is I'm looking to see about where I want th these words lined up. Try to get close to the same distance off of those wings. And we didn't put it on straight, so it does cause a pose a little bit of problem, but it all turns out really well in the end. So I went ahead and put that transfer tape down, rubbed it down real good to this vinyl and lined it up on the cup where I want it. And we're just going to pull this transfer tape off and we'll be able to reuse this transfer tape later. Once we get that off, I'm going to go outside and spray paint it with a, just a cheap white spray paint that I picked up from Walmart. And here we have, we've already painted it, let it dry. So it dried for about 30 to 45 minutes. Once that dried, we're going to go in with this interference mica from Little Lee and Rose. It's area, A-R-I-A. 
um, which is a real pretty uh, interference mica powder. So it has a, a little bit of an iridescent shift to it, and it's more prominent on a dark surface, not so much on this light surface. But all we're going to do is we're going to rub this into our paint. And once we've got it rubbed in really well, we're going to go in and we're going to start removing that vinyl that we had just put on. There's my helper in the background. She's a little tweeny and her name's Harley. So here you see I've got these tweezers. I'm just trying to start this vinyl coming up. For the most part, it's easy once you get this started. It's pretty easy to get the vinyl pulled up. This is this is pretty much the I'm showing you all this to see it can be a little difficult getting that started. And whenever you're whenever you're doing a pickaboo and you are pulling this vinyl up, you want to be real careful so that whenever you're pulling pulling this you're not pulling up your paint at the same time so that's something you need to be real careful with and here we are we've got quite a bit of this taken off already Here we go, we've got it all taken off, and you can see what the design is looking like. So from here, what we need to do is we need to get a good coat of epoxy on there. So I used the hog speed epoxy mixed up 20 milliliters, and I put uh I just put this on the cup really well, made sure I had a good coat. That's my UV light, and you can see how that color changes. You can still see the background pink, but then you can see that color change in the, after the UV light. Now we're going to go in, and we are going to scuff up that rim a little bit and any of that paint and everything that's built up uh, right on the top of the rim take that off and we cut out our words and everything earlier so we are putting our transfer tape because these words are all separate so I turn that over and I slowly start to pull that backing off that way if anything starts to pull up off of that transfer tape and it's still stuck to the backing, then we can press it down and continue to pull it off, leaving everything on the transfer tape. And a trick to, is since we've got this offset in the background, we're going to use a uh, piece of wax paper uh, or um, parchment paper you can use either one um, this is actually parchment paper that we're going to use to line up 
this design and make sure it's within the area that we want it and that it's uh, semi semi centered within the uh, with within the peekaboo area. So we're just going to get that lined up with that parchment paper in the background. And now that we've got it lined up, you can see you can see through that parchment paper and see where your peekaboo area is. Make sure that it's lined up the way that you want it lined up. Then we're going to attach that transfer tape onto the cup so that we can actually begin to remove the parchment paper and sometimes it can be a little difficult pulling this parchment paper out um, but I just slowly start to pull it out that way um, if there's if there's anything that's going on we can fix it before it gets all the way down How's that old phrase, slow and steady wins the race? So, <laughs> I am a little slow on some of this. And sometimes it's a little hard to get, to get the paper and the transfer tape and everything to manipulate the way that I want it to manipulate uh, without the fear of getting any wrinkles in our work. So you can see I'm slowly starting to pull that parchment paper out from under, between the cup and the vinyl. And as we're doing that, we're making sure that all of our letters is going down so we're rubbing that on and this is not sped up so you so what you're seeing is the actual full work time that that I'm doing this Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people that's a lot faster than me, but I haven't really been doing this very long, um, and I sure haven't done very many of the peekaboo with the words and stuff like that. I plan on here in the near future expanding uh, my creativity a little. So, um, some of my future videos may, may be long, like this one, a little longer, but, um, and, and I appreciate it. There is somebody that said my videos needed to be a little more detailed than what they were. And like I said, I haven't been doing this very long, so, um, if y'all have any kind of tips or or ideas that y'all would like to see me try to do, um, drop a comment down below. So here we are. We've got we've got these words going on, and we're pulling up the uh, transfer tape. And as you can see, part of those letters was coming up. Here's what it's looking like. Um, there is a little butterfly on the side. And I didn't get that recorded because um, that was actually a fluke. That was a little bit of um, epoxy left over. And I had a butterfly mold sitting beside me. So um, I just poured the epoxy in that and let it sit up. And because this uh, this semicolon here kind of kind of reminds me of a butterfly, 
so I thought why not put a 3D element on it. Uh, so that's why there's a little butterfly there on the side and, and it actually has a uh, UV powder in it. So here we have our parchment paper again and we're going to do it the same way that we did the words. We're going to line this up uh, within the peekaboo area uh, and line it up the way that we want it within this area. And you'll be able to see again that uh, you'll be able to see that pink in the background through that parchment paper. So that really helps you be able to line your design up within your uh, offset area. It kept sliding around on me, so it was kind of kind of tricky getting this lined up so that I could show you. So here we have it lined up pretty even all the way around. So we're just going to remove that transfer t uh, that uh, parchment paper again. And we will lay this down. You can see how hard it is sometimes to get that parchment paper off this transfer paper. <clears throat> We're just rolling that back. I'm still having a hard time getting that parchment paper to release. I'm checking it again because it felt like it actually moved at this point. And just slowly release that paper from behind it and then you're going to make sure you rub this design down really well so that it adheres to our epoxy and then we will remove that transfer tape and make sure that it all stays into place And then we're going to go in with our little ribbons. Here's what it's looking like. So now we're just going to randomly place our ribbons that we cut out. And my transfer tape was starting to lose some of the stickiness so it was a little bit of a pain to get these adhered to the transfer tape um, so you'll see me doing a couple of them and then <clears throat> and then I'll pause the video and, and do the rest of them but you can see uh, I'm using the this scraper tool and I'm rubbing it really good on the front and then I'll flip it over on the back try to get it re adhered really well to me this is the hardest part of, of doing tumblers like this because then you're trying to get it adhered onto the transfer tape and it doesn't want to adhere. Then you're fighting with the design, try to get it stick to stick. And you can see here how much of a pain in the butt it is to to get that little ribbon on and this is real time uh, I've got some other transfer tape it is got red lines on it 
but I have a hard time with it as well. It's like it it doesn't want to stick to anything. So I don't know what the deal is with my transfer tapes. If y'all have any suggestions of a good transfer tape that will stick to almost anything and not overpower to where I can't get the design off of it or, you know, it, and that I can't to where I can get the design onto it to transfer it. Um, I'd appreciate that. Now this, I was placing the arrows, I mean the um, ribbons down and I realized that I wanted this one moved. Um, and this is a little bit of a pain, but you can see what I'm going through because I cannot put the transfer tape down onto this and lift it again um, to move it so this is a little pin pin I have so it's got a real sharp tip on it and I'm just using that to go up underneath the ribbon uh, vinyl and cut it or release it off of the uh, epoxy and I'm just moving it up just a little bit and reposition it. Um, this was, it, it wasn't hard, but it wasn't easy by any means. But if, and this is obviously a um, removable vinyl. If you did not have removable vinyl, I think this would be might near impossible. I always like working with the removable vinyl for instances just like this. And whenever you're putting epoxy over the top, I don't think it really matters if you're using permanent vinyl or if you're using the removable vinyl. Um, so, uh, because of doing the peekaboos and stuff like that, uh, you need removable vinyl, uh, so that you can get it pulled up really easy. That's what I prefer to use. Um, I don't always have that, and I've got a lot of permanent vinyl that I've gotten from... A uh, friend that used to do cups and she got out of it and all she does is just sublimation now so I got a lot of my vinyl and stuff from her so I don't know where all of it came from um, and I have personally bought some vinyl now once we get the designs the way that we want them and in the areas that we want them we want to go in with our epoxy and you can see uh, again this is uh, this is actually amazing quick coat that I picked up from Walmart and it is also a one-to-one -one ratio and I'm mixing up 10 milliliters of part A 10 milliliters of part B And we are going to put this on you it's a one-to-one -one ratio and at 75 degrees you have about 30 to 45 minutes of work time and within four to five hours it's tack free uh, in 75 degree weather or, or room temperature so this I can, depending upon what I'm doing, I can get a lot of layers knocked out um, on cups that I'm working on using this, this epoxy. So we're just going to put uh, a, two layers of epoxy on this and this cup will be finished. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please 
comment below. Here we're torching this one one last time to make sure there's no micro bubbles. But y'all, um, if you have any suggestions, um, please drop them in the comments. I'm like I said, I'm still learning how to do all this, the videos, the video editing, um, and the process. So if if y'all have seen something that you think could help me, please let me know. This is our final product here. Oh, yeah, we had about two inches of uh, ice. So that's that's what you're seeing in the back, very background. Um, and it was like 25 degrees this day but uh this is our final product you can see how the uh pink is a little uh darker um well, i hope y'all like this like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if y'all enjoy this y'all have a good day